Hello everybody, welcome to today's Splendor video. I know it's been forever since I last uploaded, but I do want to start uploading again. I'm planning on doing some stuff for Unreal Engine and various other things. So let's hope that turns out well. Anyway, today's video is how to mix vertex paint textures. So basically what you've got is you've got a PBR texture, you know, a texture of displacement normals and everything, and you want to basically paint that on top of another texture using a vertex paint function in Blender. So yes, let's get started with that. So obviously the first thing you want to do is delete the default cube, then press Shift A and add a plane. Press S5 to scale this up by five times, then right click and subdivide it a bunch of times in edit mode. Press tab to go to edit mode by the way. Then I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees because I want the bricks to be facing vertically. Um, so press R, Y, 90 to do that. Then what you want to do is go over to the shading tab up at the top. And add a new material uh, like so and drag the principal B BSDF away from the material output. Press Ctrl Shift T to add full materials or even Node Wrangler add-on to do this and go to the brick texture. I'll link this texture in the description. Select all the maps and Node Wrangler will just add them all in for you. Um, a few it will leave out. You can add those in manually. I'm not going to because this is just a demo. And yeah, so once the shaders load a, load a bit, we'll see we now have brick texture. It's rotated the wrong way, so I'm going to quickly just go and UV edit it to the right way. I'm going to go down to the material tab down here, and once there, I'm going to go scroll down to settings, and then on displacement, I'm going to change it from bump only to displacement and bump. This will give us our displacement. We need to go to rendered view to see this. So now we've got full displacement working, you'll want to turn the displacement down a bit. Just so it doesn't look like that. Once you've done that, what you're going to want to do now is add a second material. So duplicate the principal BSDF over and press Control Shift T once again and do the same thing you did last time for brick texture, but this time for plaster texture, which I'll link in the description. I'm using brick and plaster just because I saw it the other day and I decided I wanted to make it. And so, what you want to do now, what you want to do now is add a mix shader and a vertex color node. And then you'll also want to add a mix RGB node. That'll be for the displacement later on. So yeah. Take the vertex color and take the color value from that and plug it into a factor of a mix shader. Then you'll want to take the shader output from a mix shader and plug it into the surface of the material output. You'll notice your entire thing just goes black because it's got no data going into it right now except for that black vertex color. So you'll notice your entire thing goes black and you'll still see the displacement. So now we want to take our plaster BSDF and plug it into the top shader of the mix shader and our brick BSDF and plug it into the bottom shader of the mix shader. Now this means that the vertex color will take anything black as in a value of zero as the plaster texture and anything white as in a value of one as the brick texture You'll still, we haven't sorted out displacement yet, so you'll still see the displacement acting upon it. But as soon as we take out the displacement, you will see that it is the plaster texture. So now, what you're going to want to do is plug the color output from a vertex color into the mix RGB node in the, va the factor, the same way you did with a mix shader node. So, and you want to bring the displacement values of each the same way you brought the BSDF values into the mix shader mode. So you'll take both the displacements 
of your plaster and your brick and plug them into the two colours of the mix shader. Once you've done that, you can plug the colour into the displacement of a mix shader. You'll have to fiddle around with the displacement values to get it looking right. I would suggest having zero displacement on the plaster texture. So now if we go to our vertex pane mode at the top where you go to object mode and edit mode, we will see the texture will turn back into the brick texture. It was the plaster texture, now it's turned back into the brick texture. This is because the default colour has been set to white and we need to change it. So just simply take your brush and just paint over the entire thing in black. Now we'll see it's returned for plaster texture if you go back to rendered view. Okay, so now we can go back to object view, paint a little bit of white, and we can see that a bit of brick has appeared in the middle. Also, you'll now want to want you'll now want to play with the mid-level of the bricks so that the bricks appear. So that the bricks appear below the plaster, which they're supposed to be on top of. We can see that these two clash a lot at the edges and I'll probably release a second video helping out that but for now um, we can go back into our shader editor and between the vertex colour and mix shader we can add a colour ramp and we can just bring in these two values and this will help the clashing a lot around the settings for ages and ages like I did, eventually find something that looks good and you'll see. I would not suggest putting this at the forefront of your renders unless you found a really good way to mix the, few, the two. You know, cover it in ivy or something and it'll look really good. Anyway, this has been the first video in a long time, so thank you all for watching all the way through and I'll see you guys in the next one.